Uh, Robbie, uh, can you just talk a little bit about what were these last couple of weeks like, um, kind of from the moment you had your test and uh, what, what, what you've been going through? Yeah, um, got the positive call um, the Monday morning of that Columbus, the first uh, game there, the noon game. And uh, yeah, I went back in to test again and, and both tests were positive. So um, that was the start of it. And um, yeah, there's nothing much to it. I was locked in, uh, locked in my bedroom. Uh, my fiance didn't, didn't end up getting it. So um, I was isolating in my room and um, that was about it. Not too much to it. How did you feel back at practice today? So, so you really haven't been doing anything physically exerting yourself, if I understand what the protocol is. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So I follow the protocol. Um, I've been on the ice a handful of times, uh, starting from uh, Friday. So um, I've been ramping it up every day and, and feeling better uh, each day I get on the ice. And uh, recovering quicker and um, felt great today. So that was a, a positive sign. But that was by yourself on the ice or? Uh, with the uh, other COVID guys. Okay. Okay. And just uh, like, I mean, how fit do you feel as far as uh, playing as soon as tomorrow uh, evening? Yeah, no, I, I feel good. Like I said, uh, feeling better and better every day um, that I went on the ice and, you know, push myself accordingly and um, feel good. Thank you. Next question, Ansar Khan, and live. Hi, Robbie. Uh, you know, you got off to a, a good start there, uh, uh, getting uh, accustomed to or getting reaccustomed to playing center. It looks like uh, maybe you can play wing uh, based on the, the lines uh, in practice today. Uh, would that help kind of the, the transition coming back after after missing a couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, I think that's the, that's the plan. Um, at the end of the day, I'm just happy to uh, be back in the lineup, you know, wherever it might be. So, um, yeah, you know, to help me get my legs underneath me and get my timing back and everything like that. And just uh, during these two weeks, you know, the team got off to a decent start, uh, two and two. What did you see uh, just from, from watching the team play over these last couple of weeks? Uh, the guys played hard. Uh, it's never uh, it's never easy when you're losing, uh, you know, five guys that, we're in your uh, opening night roster, um, and then to go on the road and, and, and battle some good teams, uh, you know, we uh, it was a, it was a lot on a lot of the guys. Everyone needed to step up and some. So, um, you know, we're we're just happy to get back and get and and help uh, the guys out as much as we can and get back uh, to where we were at the start of the year. Thanks. Next up, Ted Coulter, Detroit News. So, Robby, what did you do for two weeks in your room like that? I mean, were you binging on movies or shows or what was going on? Yeah, watching uh, watching a lot of shows, um, watching a lot of sports and uh, pacing in my room, you know, getting up and, and moving once I was starting to get my energy back. Uh, yeah, I think the worst part was, you know, just being locked in, uh, locked in my room there. But, uh, you know, you have to do what you got to do. And, um, you know, happy to be back. Did you ever feel like bad or, I mean, how did you feel basically? Yeah, uh, days two to five, I got, uh, you know, every symptom you hear about. So um, early, early in it uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't too fun. Uh, a lot of sleeping and, and laying down and, and relaxing. Uh, and then after day five, I slowly started to get some energy back and the symptoms were gone. And um, from then on was, you know, just, getting back to a regular regular day and, and then getting back on the ice. When you first heard about it, were you concerned or what, what was the feeling that, you know, you had when you first heard about it? Um, obviously not happy two games into the season and uh, I've, I've gone this long with, without, uh, without getting it and being careful and, and doing all that and then getting it. So there's nothing you can do about it. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a good, good guy at staying positive. So, um, you know, it, there wasn't much to it. You know, we knew this was the risk coming into the season and, um, you know, it's, uh, something that everyone's going through, not just, not just professional athletes. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was no joke there for a couple of days. Thanks for Abby. We'll wrap up with Max Boltman from the athletic. 
Hey, Robbie, how much were you uh, communicating with, with guys who were in, in still in the locker room and, and playing, and what were those conversations like? Yeah, I think uh, after every game, I, I sent out a few texts, uh, you know, to, to a few of the guys, and, uh, you know, just trying to stay, stay a part of it and, you know, get the feel in the room and, um, you know, just – be there to support and, and, and do what, you know, what I normally do when I'm in the room, but, you know, away from it. So, um, yeah, it was good to, I had a lot of time on my hands, so it was easy for me to throw out a few texts and, uh, and stuff like that. Bobby Ryan said after he uh, got to watch a game from up top that he felt like he'd be the MVP of the league if he could watch every game from up there. Do you feel the same way about seeing it all on TV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, I've watched a lot of games from up top and, uh, and on TV and it's two different games from when you're, you're on the bench or on the ice to, to when you're a fan and, and, and just watching like everyone else. I'm just curious, since the power play has been an area where, you know, everybody's kind of talked about wanting to improve a little bit, what are you seeing or what did you see in those games and what are you hoping to bring now that it looks like you were working on one of those units uh, out there today? Um, you know, the biggest thing is our entries right now. Um, you know, having a little trouble with that, but, um, you know, we, we had some good stretches where we we're, you know, getting getting a handful of shots on our power plays and, um, you know, being able to set up and, and, and make some plays. And, and the biggest thing is not forcing things. Um, you know, it's easy to, to force things when it's not going your way. And um, we just got to stick to what we do out here in practice. And, um, you know, I'm comfortable in the power play, always have been. And uh, just looking to bring that, uh, you know, patience and, and playmaking that, uh, that we can use out there. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, everyone.